Hey you guys, it's me, Michelle from Michelle's Life Journey. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are showing up and showing out for yourself. As you see, I am in the car and I did not put the car in park before I decided to take the freaking key out. But I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are showing up for yourself and doing the things that make you happy. Not what makes somebody else happy, but what makes you happy. I hope you guys are really taking care of yourselves and just, you know, taking care of you. Because ultimately, it all boils down to you taking care of yourself. Um, I'm going to let you guys know what's been kind of going on with me which is nothing really. I just been working, um, just trying to get myself together, you know, stay focused. There's so much going on in the world, so much that you can be, you know, sad about. And it's hard not to get sad about all the things that are is going on in the world, but you have to, you know, block it out and just be focused and that's what I'm trying to be. I did not work out today, but I did get my gallon in. Uh well, I got a swallow left, but basically I got my gallon in for today. So, I'm feeling good about that. Um right now, I am just being thankful for the little accomplishments I make. If I don't lose a pound, at least I might lose an ounce. I mean, at this point, I have to take what I can take. Um, I told you guys I went to see the fat doctor and I got uh, the diet supplements because I didn't know this, but it's a different between a difference between diet pills and diet supplements. It's a difference. I didn't know that. One um, takes away your appetite and one just suppresses the appetite. But anyway, I got it. Ain't neither one of them working for me. Let me just say that. Let me be clear about that. I got the shots um, and they ain't doing nothing for me. I'm just not. I don't know what it is. I don't know if my body is just so used to being fat and just not having energy um, that it's, it's just not helping me. It's not helping me at all. Like, I don't know. Um... I haven't been doing great with my eating, but I've been doing better than I have been doing. Like I said, I've been getting my gallon in. Um, I got my gallon in every day except for one day. Um, but I've been getting it in and I was working out, doing pretty good on the treadmill or whatever. But one day, I think it was Friday. I think it was Friday morning. I let my emotions get to me. And it stopped me, like, it messed up my whole morning. Like, I have a whole morning routine, and it just totally messed it up just because I got in my emotions and got in my feelings about some stuff. And it just threw me off. And then, like, Saturday, I was like, oh, yeah, 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 I'm going to work out, I'm going to work out. Didn't do it Sunday. I didn't do it Sunday. I was back in my feelings, and I just couldn't get it together Sunday at all so Sunday I let my dog out I think I made me some breakfast and I just laid in the bed I had chips on Sunday and I had in eight chips in a minute um well it had been like a couple of weeks since I had had some chips or whatever but um I mean just regular chips not like uh the quiz chips or nothing like that but um, so yeah, it just totally threw me off. So that's one thing I'm praying that the Lord will deliver me from my freaking emotions because my emotions can just throw, totally throw me off where I'm just not doing anything. I want to crawl in the bed and, you know, for a person where well, you may not know, but for a person dealing with depression to be called to the bed to lay down and just not deal with stuff is not a good um situation and like i've said it time and time again like 2023 i am not playing the victim i'm gonna own up to the things that i do that put me in situations because sometimes it's not another person 
that does something. Um, it's more or less sometimes when people say things, I take it to heart instead of looking at it like, okay, well, that's that person's opinion. That doesn't necessarily mean that it has to resonate with you um, because this person has this opinion. Um, but I just wear my emotions on my sleeve and I just continue to let my emotions dictate how my day is going to be or how my life is going to be and that's just not getting it no more like I really have to break the cycle in within myself and I think another reason why I haven't been working out is I ran out of my um Alani News um pre-workout and I know you're gonna say that's not an excuse and it really isn't but it's the truth it's the truth like, if I can't get that supplement, like, if I don't have that supplement to help me, I really don't have the energy to, to work out. And, you know, I read that um they can be, like, the pre-workouts and stuff can be addictive. And I am realize now that I'm addicted to it because the last Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and today, I didn't have it. And each one of them days, I did not work out. And I put my collagen in my uh, pre-workout to help me get my collagen down. But I didn't, I tried to take it yesterday in some lemon water and it tastes god awful. I couldn't even get it down. I was about to earl so bad from that pre um work I mean not pre workout from that lemon water and my collagen. So I mix my collagen in with my pre workout and it seems to help me. It seems to give me that boost, that energy that I need to get my butt on the treadmill. Um and it helps me to get like almost all the way through it. Cause right now, well I was up to doing um ten laps, you know, I was doing eight but I moved it, boosted it up to 10. So I was doing 10 laps. So I don't know how it's going to be when I get ready to get back on the treadmill. So hopefully um, I can get myself back on track because I've got to lose this weight. Like I'm so sick of being sick and tired of myself being this way and not having any kind of self-control wanting to eat out and you know do everything but i've been doing good as far as my mountain dew you know i love me some mountain dew i have not had a mountain dew um i have been i had chick-fil-a lemonade and i had a high c orange but i haven't had any mountain dew which for me is good anybody that know me know that is good and of course being in my emotions fell off again with um eating jolly ranchers you know i love candy um so i did fall off with that as well um uh, but you know it is what it is i i i fell off i mean i i'm not gonna sit here and make it seem like oh i'm just this perfect person and the weight is just coming off and i could stop all of this i can't because when i'm in my emotions and i realize that when i'm in my emotions like all bets are off and I have got to stop that within myself. I have to train myself to know that just because something happened, you're not feeling yourself or you're not feeling 100. That does not mean that you can fall back into your old habits. And um, I think another thing was too, because I know that February 6th, um, I get my, um, the first, the first, um, I don't know what you would call it. The first, um, they, they get put in my temporary. That's what I meant to say. Um, February 6th, I get my temporary dentures and with my temporary dentures, I'm not going to be able to eat like hard candy or anything like that. So I don't know, maybe I was just trying to get it out of my system, but honestly, I was just craving it. Like I, I was down in my emotions. I had chips. I had candy. I didn't have anything but the high C um, drink as far as drink. I didn't have any soda or anything like that. And I've been, you know, I've been kind of craving soda, but I didn't actually get it. Like today I was craving it. 
I was like, I want to go get me a Mountain Dew. I want to just get it. But, you know, so far I haven't done it. And I pray that I don't. Hopefully when I go in home and get in my house, I won't come back out to get it. Um, I know a lot of people are like, um, when you have a craving, you need to go ahead and get it and get it over with and, you know, deal with the craving and be done with it. But that does not work for me because if I get it, then I'm going to want it. I'm going to keep wanting it. I'm going to keep wanting it. It just pulls me into a cycle. I swear they putting something in Mountain Dew. I don't know what it is, but, um, well, I do know what it is. It's that caffeine that make you want it more and more, but so, yeah, I was supposed to go back to the fat doctor um, February, uh, like February 8th. But I had my surgery on February 6th. So I decided that I would just call them after my surgery and like see how I'm feeling. Do I feel up to going and, you know, making an appointment with them to go, um, I'm kind of like, in a way, kind of like, I don't even want to go back because I don't feel like the pills or the shots did anything for me. It didn't really give me any energy because what I was hoping was that the shots and the pill would give me not only um, help me to control my appetite, but um, I thought that the, the shots would actually give me some energy so I could maybe stop depending so much on the um, pre-workout before I work out. But it didn't work like that. Um, so I like really need that pre-workout because I need it to help me, um, you know, get it together and get on this treadmill. And it's just, I don't know. I, my life is just like, <laughs> I don't know. Life just lives. And if you are a person that, lives a life through your emotions you are gonna have the hardest time in life everything is gonna seem like it's so detrimental and some things aren't even that detrimental it's just your emotions you're in your emotions and and you just feel like that but like this whole thing with me not working out because I didn't have the pre-workout was really crazy and had I just sat down and thought about it and got out of my feelings, I could have went right to Walmart and got it. They might have not had the exact one that I'm used to having. I mean, the flavor-wise, because um, I like the rain. I think it's called Rainbow Candy. I like that one. But um, even though they may not have had the flavor that I'm used to having, they would have had the the pre-workout, so I could have had it. So, but I get so caught up in my emotions and how I feel at that moment. And I don't look at things from a different point of view. I just look at it that one way. And, you know, it just isn't working for me. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know. So I had my, you know, they say, um, for those that do believe in psychics and, um readings and things like that so i had my reading for the year um i actually was watching lily yours truly and um on this particular vlog that she was doing she had had her reading and i decided to uh, to get a reading for myself for 2023 for the new year and it went like well like, everything she said was, like, yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty good, everything that she said, but, like, even when you get those readings, it's, it's not saying, okay, this is exactly what's gonna happen, now, it may happen like they say, or it may happen in a slightly different version of how they tell you, like, um, because I've had readings before and things that the person said happened, but they didn't necessarily happen exactly like they said. Like they may have said, um, at 12 noon, you're going to get a phone call that's going to be the news that you want. That phone call came, but 
it may not have came at 12 o'clock. It may have came at 2 o'clock. So, you know, when you get readings and stuff, you, you have to be open to what they're saying and what, what's for you is for you. What's not, is not like you, you know, it's your reading, it's your personal reading, but like some of that stuff is like, run it back. Cause she was like, I'm going to meet somebody light skin, wear glasses. I don't know nobody light skin and wear glasses. I don't even usually... <laughs> Talk to people that's, you know, like somebody that I would actually date or whatever. I've never really dated someone that was light skinned. They've been like a medium brown or something like that. But, um, and I'm not really in that mode for dating right now. Right now, I'm more or less in a mode of I want to get my finances even better. Um, not that, you know, they're bad now, but, you know, I want to get my finances better. I want to continue to work on my credit. I want to, um, secure that bag for myself in more than just one way. I want to have multiple streams of income coming in to, um, break generational curses in my family. I want to be able to help others at a minimum because i've realized that i help a lot of people and i do it out of the kindness of my heart just because i want to do it i feel like that's what i was put here to do is to help people but sometimes it's like okay nichelle you're you're out here doing this this and this and you're helping this one and that one but what about when you need help who's there when you need help who can you cry to to say oh i got such and such going on i need help um you know you got to be mindful of stuff like that you have to really look at the people that you surround yourself with the people that you deal with in life like if people are not meaning you no good or they're not helping you to grow or um encouraging you to step out of your comfort zone then you don't need those people because those people are not going to do anything but hold you down because they don't want to see you grow and it may be they see the greatness in you and just don't want you to reach the potential that you can but 2023 i ain't letting nothing or nobody hold me back and that's why i really want to do whatever i have to do to get my weight under control like once i get these um implants put in my mouth i'm thinking about like why am i got their mouth shut so i won't eat nothing like i can just drink through a straw that's how serious it is but it's serious but it ain't serious enough for me to go under no knife to try to um get none of them um weight loss surgeries no it's serious but it ain't that serious like i i applaud anybody that can go under the knife and do that i applaud you because me mm -mm. and the way that i've seen those people like some of those people after the surgery they can't hardly keep nothing down they sick on their stomach i just uh, uh i can't do it and then they really do be down for a little bit because you know it takes a a big that's a big adjustment um and i just i wouldn't want to do it and my mind ain't right to do it you know what i'm saying i want to lose the way i really do i really do i want to be able to get some energy so that i can be more active in my life like i'm i'm 50 years old but shoot i know 50 years old they run can run circles around me and they ain't fat you know so but i've been blessed because other than being overweight i don't really have any health issues but you know over time you know things happen and you know you can fall ill and the, and the worst thing i ever like i never want to happen is for me to have to go to an ambulance go to the hospital in the ambulance or something and i can't even fit on the goddamn stretcher no 
I don't want that. And I don't want nobody to have to be breaking their back trying to lift me. None of that. Mm -mm. That's why I said when I um leave this world, I want to be cremated. Because I don't want nobody to struggle. If I'm still big like this, I want to be cremated. So it won't take them, you know, no 10 people to lift me, to get me in the hearse or, you know, to put me in the ground. No. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to do that, but yeah. So that's just a little update. Um, I went to work today. I had to get my dog some food. I had this dog food in the hill since what Saturday, and I ain't took it out yet. It's like I just don't have any energy to do anything. Like, for me to get up in the mornings and go to work is, like, a chore for me. Like, by the time I get to the car in the mornings, like, I am truly, truly, like, tired already. And sometimes I sleep at night. Sometimes I really don't sleep. And it's like, I don't know. I don't know. My body is just going haywires now. Um, I turned 50 and once I turned 50, it's like everything just started going like ooh, 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 crazy, but I'm going to believe God that everything is going to work in my favor, in my life, in my business, in my family, for all of you guys. Um, I'm just praying blessings upon all of you. I'm praying that 2023 will be everything that you want it to be and more that you will reach the goals that you want to reach in your life and you will do the things that make you happy in your life that you will not let fear stop you from doing things and that's like another thing with me too like I let fear stop me like I let fear stop me from taking like a little mini vacation going somewhere because I'm like oh I don't want to go anywhere by myself but sometimes you really need to do that sometimes you really need to just have that time by yourself and you know spend that time with yourself get to know yourself because once you can be alone with yourself you good you good because like when you can say Okay, I'm with myself. I'm I'm complete. I'm happy. I'm satisfied within myself being with myself. You good. You good. Um I was watching Candace Denise um on YouTube and she took like a little trip um by herself like um and she was really content, really happy with just being in in this hotel just by herself it was just her and she enjoyed herself she rested you know she just got did what things make her happy and i thought that was really like brave of her for one and two i thought it was real cool like if i could just get myself to that point but i'm always thinking like okay What's somebody going to say if I'm going on a trip by myself? You know, all this stuff can happen. But, you know, anything can happen whether you're by yourself or with, you, with a group. You know, things can happen. So, you know, you can't let fear um, stop you from doing things. Like, you got to open your horizons. And that's something that I am praying that God will will open up in me so that I can step out of my comfort zone, do some new things and just open up other avenues in my life, physically, mentally, spiritually, financially. Like I want to open up more streams for myself. Um, yeah, uh, I've been blessed. Like I've been really, really, really blessed. And I know that more blessings are coming for me. I just have to be patient and be strong and lean daily on my faith because um, life is hard. Like, life is so hard. And there are so many people losing their lives. And it's not because they actually, you know, wanted to go or they had any intention of dying. It's just 
people just now don't have any regard for life right now. And I am just to a point where I'm just like, my God, like, when will all of this violence end? When will people take accountability for what they're doing? Like, our kids don't even have a chance to really be kids anymore. And it is so, so, so sad. And I don't know. I, I always said if I had, if I was a millionaire, like I would make um, different programs for the children so that they would have stuff to do, that they didn't have to, you know, feel like they would need to be in a gang or, you know, families that were having hard times i would be helping them i would do what i could to help them but sometimes you know life just life just lives and life is hard for everybody like right now everybody's going through something so please be mindful of people like i know we all want to speak our mind we all want to um let people know how we feel, but please be respectful in how you say things to people or in how you treat people because karma is a B. And when I say karma is a B, you better know karma is a B. And those same situations gonna come around again and you will see them again. So I know it's not always easy. Um, especially when you're going through things and, and somebody come at you crossways. But please, please, please try to be mindful of people's feelings. And because you never know what somebody's going through, your your words of encouragement and your words could be the thing that just pushes them over the edge. So, you know, just be mindful of people. Like, it's, it's just strange and really... Oh, I'm looking because, you no, know, I have to look when people be behind me because I be like, what? No. But anyway, yeah, be mindful. And those of you that are able to, in your good, good mind, no background, you know, no serious issues in your background, you need to, if you don't own a gun, you need to be, learn how to use one. Because it's it's dangerous out here. It really is. And I'm not telling nobody to take it upon yourself to shoot nobody. But you got to protect yourself. We need to be doing self-defense classes. We need to be having a weapon uh, um, with us legally legally now legally we need to go through all the channels the background checks all of that legally have some protection for yourself especially these ladies that you're out at night you need to have some type of protection pepper spray can't do but so much but it is a weapon i got that too i got me some pepper spray too let me see if i can find it and I'm going to give y'all a quick funny story. I had me a real cute pepper spray um thing on my um, keys. I got me some pepper spray. Showed, I got it. Like, I don't want to necessarily have to use it. I got my protection, too. I don't know if I can actually show it on here, but I show it. Like, I got my protection as well, you know, but... I would use my pepper spray first, though. Because <laughs> I sure don't want to shoot nobody. Because I sure wouldn't want nobody to shoot me. So, yeah. um, We, we got to protect ourselves, ladies and uh, gentlemen as well. But, you know, just don't take it upon yourself because you got a weapon to, to harm somebody. But we got to be ready to protect ourselves because... This world is getting worse and worse by the day. And ain't nothing going to help it but prayer. And don't be like me and don't really know how to use your weapon. You better know how to load it. 
shoot it and all that. Because if you pull it, you better use it. But um, that was just a PSA. I am not encouraging. Let me say before y'all come for me. Let me say I am not encouraging anybody to harm anybody. To go in anybody's personal space with a weapon. I am not saying that. I am saying that we need to protect ourselves. If somebody talking, let them keep talking. As long as they don't put their hands on you or they harm you in any way, you let them be. Anyway, with that being said, I am so thankful and grateful to have gotten on here and talked to you guys and vented with you. This is like my free therapy because you know therapy is not free. But this is my free therapy and it helps me to get out of my comfort zone and be able to talk to you guys and just to feel better like it makes me feel better to get on here and talk to you guys i don't really have anything going on today um i really need to just sit down and plan out some content because i have some things that i want to do but i don't want to be that other youtuber you know what i'm saying i don't want to be that other content creator just copying somebody else because i was watching um peyton i think her name is peyton charles and she was saying how she had um she had um put up a reel and everybody was copying her reel and you know they were like getting paid for it but she wasn't like you know really she didn't really get nothing from it or you know it didn't pay her like that and I'm thinking like, dang, everybody, and like she said, everybody talk about being authentically themselves, but then they copy what everybody else is doing. And at least if you're going to copy it, give the person that originally did it the credit. She didn't say that I'm saying that, but yeah, like what she said made a lot of sense. Like you, you putting it. You putting this information out, you sharing it and all that, but you're not really giving the person the credit that actually did it. So with that being said, I need to get myself together. I need to get focused and I hope that you will have an amazing rest of your day, that you will continue to be the best you that you can be. And I thank each and every one of you for liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!